honor, trickery, language, and gender politics. These are Much Ado About Nothing's thought-provoking themes. Honor is depicted in a few different ways. First, as a means of protecting one's reputation. Both Don Pedro and Claudio denounce Hero to protect their own reputations when Hero is slandered, which fits the moral code of Elizabethan society. Second, honor is chivalric, which holds men are obligated to protect the wronged, the ill, and the inferior. As a woman, Hero fits into the first and third categories. Consider how Leonardo and Benedict defend Hero's reputation. Finally, there's women's honor. In this sense, honor is a synonym for chastity or virtue. Women were held to much higher standards than men in the Elizabethan era, and they were expected to remain chaste until married, lest they harm their reputations. Trickery and deception abound in Much Ado About Nothing, and the plots to deceive piggyback off one another through the play. Some things, like bringing Beatrice and Benedict together, are for the good, while others, like Don John's plan to trick Hero and Claudio in order to ruin their marriage, are designed to harm. In most instances, telling the truth would have been much simpler and produced a better outcome. Shakespeare uses trickery as a means of showing his characters the truth when they won't listen. Language is important in any piece of literature, but in Much Ado About Nothing, it distinguishes social status, separates the comic from the serious, and serves as both weapon and balm. Most notable is the merry war between Benedict and Beatrice. Quick on their feet and even quicker with their tongues, wit distinguishes them as the most intelligent of their group. Language is also an indicator of social class in Much Ado About Nothing. The high-born nobles all speak gracefully, even when telling dirty jokes. Characters of the serving class use language not as refined, and comical Dogberry basically destroys the English language in an attempt to seem more important than he really is. Gender politics is another key theme, as much ado about nothing's plot has a lot to do with gender. Women were treated like second-class citizens in the Elizabethan era, and they weren't afforded many opportunities to better their situations without the assistance of a father or a husband. And a man's word was considered more trustworthy and valuable than a woman's, even if the woman was in the right. This happens to Hero, who is accused of being unchaste and never given the opportunity to defend herself and prove her accusers wrong. Gender is also an indicator of power, both when the play was written and within the play itself. Hero's father rules her life, and Beatrice feels the acute pain of powerlessness due to her gender, raging, oh God, that I were a man, to Benedict after Claudio slanders Hero.